Hi, you're here with Anne of the Excel Expert and today we're going to look at how you can kind of link files or combine files from different locations into a single file. Okay. Now if you notice here, first of all, I've just begun with a blank file and this file is going to be the one in which it's going to hold all the information I want. And down here at the bottom I have three files, see there are January, February and March. Now I want to make it nice and easy for myself, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually set these up so that all four of them are up on the screen. So I go up here to view. Over here two thirds in from the left I click on arrange all. And I'm just going to click on um, let's say tiled because I just like to, that's just my personal preference. Now just a hint about this is that when you're doing it just make sure you have the files that you need open in front of you. Otherwise um, if you have any other files open they will also be open in this. And it's just easier when you're doing this just to have nice clean edges on what you do. So here we are. Okay, so here, there you have, I have my February linking files, March linking files, and January linking files. Okay, now essentially if you look here, it's the same information in all of them. See there's rent, transport, food, rent, transport, food, rent, transport, food. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to copy the information from one of these files here. And then I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit. So I just use my control C to copy back up here and then I just use control V to paste it in. I'm going to tidy it up a little bit and if you notice I can just double click on it and I'm just first of all I'm going to change it to expenses for quarter one. Right. Then I'm just going to delete out the numbers here so I now if you like have this ready to go. Now the other thing I'm just going to do at this point is that I'm actually just going to save this file. Um, as a friend of mine once said, you know, you can rely on technology until you really, really need it. So if you don't have the habit of kind of saving every few minutes, it's one I'd advise you to develop. Of course, not that I'm speaking from personal experience or anything. So I just go up here to File, down to Save As. All right, and I'm just going to put into my file here. I'm just going to call it Summary. Summary File. All right, and I don't need a macro-enabled workbook, so I just change it to Excel workbook, and I click Save. Okay. So now I have my four files here. All right. So as always, I click in here. This is where I want the answer to go. Um, I begin by putting in equals, and then I come over here to rent. Now, if I, you notice that I actually have to double-click on rent. All right. And what comes up here, see there is the link to the file, the name of the file, sheet one. And then I see there's a little dollar sign reference as well on that, which we're going to need to amend later. Okay, so I just go up here to this one, and then I just go plus, and then I just go down to my rent for March, and I go plus again. Now it's a really good idea to do this in some kind of a clockwise fashion, so that you know you make sure you don't miss any out. And then I click here, and when I come to the last one, all I need to do is press enter. Now, um. As always, i am set this up so that I can easily copy down because everything is in the same place. If it's not in the same place, you just need to be very careful to make sure, again, that you're adding like with like um, at all cases. So, for example, if transport and food are transposed over here, you need to make sure that what you're adding together are these two. Now, if I just drag this down like so, right, you see there I get a whole bunch of 12,000s, which is not what I want. So I'm just going to delete that and let's see what the problem is. When you link files together, if you notice up here, Excel has just put in my dollar signs up here, dollar signs up here, dollar signs up here. Right? And essentially that means that the files or those cells are particularly locked. Now I've dealt with the whole thing of kind of locking cells and so on in other in another post. Right? Um, but if we want to just kind of quickly remove it from here, the easiest way is just to highlight the whole lot. Now you can do them individually, but I just find this easier. Just highlight the whole lot. And then if I just press F4 once twice, three times. All right. And if you notice here, you see the dollar signs have now gone from this. And then I just press enter, click on it, and then I copy it down. Let me just keep going all the way down to the bottom here. All right, you see add set up. And of course, I'm just going to go over here and just to save it as well. Very important. Okay. Now, the other thing that's important about this as well is that, for example, if you inherit a file that has a lot of links to other files and you just want to see what other files it's pulling from. One of the ways to do that is if you go to the data tab which is up here all right, and if you look directly underneath it there's a little link that says edit links. Now this edit links will only be live on this file, the summary file, um, because this actually has links. So for example if I come over here to 
my February linking files, you see edit links isn't actually live. Okay, so let me go back here. So what I'm going to do is just click here so that you can kind of see this is how you can change it. You go to edit links, all right, and you see there it gives me the source, January linking files, update the values. So for example, if you have multiple people working on a spreadsheet and they've updated it, if you want to have the most up-to-date values, make sure you update values. Then go to change source. So if you want to use a different file, you can open the source if you want to view it, or if you want to remove it from this, you just go break link. Right. And if you notice down here, it says update automatic. And essentially what this is, is that if you have linked files and you open it up, it will always prompt you, this is linked to other files. Do you want to update or not? And if you want to check it, let's have a look at startup prompt. Right. And you see there you have three choices. Let users choose to display the alert or not. Don't display the alert and don't update the links. And don't display the alert and update links. Now, in general, unless you have some burning reason to otherwise, I would generally leave the default settings as they are. So I just click close. All right. So this is my kind of linked file. Now, just the last thing I just want to show you on this is there's a very useful feature called Workspace. And the idea behind Workspace is that it's like creates a bucket for these four files. So instead of me having to remember, oh yeah, it was a February, March, January file, what I can do is create a thing called um, a Workspace. And what that will do is that when I open up the Workspace, it will open up all these four files together at the same time. So the way I save it as a Workspace is, I go up here to, um, let me just remind myself again now, where is it? Yes, over here I go to the view tab and over here on the right hand side it says save workspace right? and if you're curious yes this was available in earlier versions of Excel as well so click on save workspace and you see down here it says save as type workspaces now if you just think of it as being like a bucket in some ways it has nothing to do with the actual contents of these files it's just a holder for them and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call it my workspace bucket quarter one. Always a good idea to name these things as much as possible for the simple reason that um, as I say to people you're intelligent on Monday and then we come back on Friday you can't remember what you called it so the more comprehensive you can name it the better. Click save. And I just say yes I want to save those files. Right. Now just to see how this works I'm just going to close this here. Let me just close all these. Go back up here to my file and if you see down here, there's my workspace bucket quarter one. So I just click on it to open it. I see they all open up here at the same time. Now, if I'd made any change to any of these figures, I would have been actually prompted, do you want to update from these files? Right. So again, this is really, really useful if you need to kind of link files. I hope you found this useful. Gurma Hagat Sloan.